Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to a new Let's Play. So, after completing Gran Turismo 4 Prologue, you're probably thinking the next logical answer, well, he's going to play GT4 again, right? <laughs> and not yet, we're playing GT5 Prologue. <laughs> So we're gonna we're just taking the jump to the PS3. We're gonna do things a little out of order, and we're gonna let's play Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. So just like GT4, because this game got delayed to hell and back. Um. Uh, Polyphony did what they did when they deleted GT4, and they made a prologue version of GT5 as a little teaser for what's to come. Um. There are multiple versions of this game. I actually have two copies of this game because the Greatest Hits copy uh, has the final version of the game, and there's no other way to get the final version of the game because you can't download it from the internet because the servers are shut down and the update's tied to the servers. So I had to buy a whole other copy of the game to get the final version of the game. But this is what we'll be doing today. I haven't played this in a long-ass time, so I don't really remember how this goes um well i do but like i don't so this will be interesting and uh hopefully it goes well so without enough blabbering let's go to the game green here we are gran turismo 5 prologue i do have uh music already turned off so uh no on the top left of the screen, it does say Spec 3, which is the final version of the game. Uh, again, greatest hits. So, that's cool. Basically, the game got updates in, version, in forms of specs throughout its life. I was not able to experience it until after all that. And, yeah. Um, so, first thing first is we're greeted... To this screen on a new save, welcome to Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. First thing you need to do is visit the dealerships and buy yourself a car. What I'm actually going to do is uh, explain these menus. So, we have a lot of different menus here. Uh, a lot of them is tied to the online servers, which no longer exist, such as the news. Uh, literally cannot access the news because that requires a connection to the internet. We do have Gran Turismo TV, which has two things that we can access, hopefully without the online servers, and that is uh, the opening movie and this Beyond the Apex uh, documentary, which is long as fuck. I don't know if I can actually access it now, but there's that. I haven't started the game yet, therefore this timer isn't starting. Uh, there's the online mode, we have a rankings, which is online rankings, and then uh, we have arcade mode, which is grayed out right now because the game wants me to buy a car, but we can do the arcade mode. Two-player battle, which I cannot do. Then we have the events, which is kind of the meat of the game. Our garage, our dealerships, replays that we saved, our options, which I'll just show the options right now. Um, basic options, so change the lap count, arcade mode. Uh, change settings for like when, dem when demos play, when you leave the game idle. Uh, change your measurements, which I'm... Keeping them all American because I'm a American bastard. Uh, change your controller settings. Audio settings, I have music basically turned off because copyright. And everything else is at default. 1080p, HDMI, ooh. Display, ooh. Uh, you, can, you can change your wheel settings from this menu, which I am using my G27. Which, um, something I did not know up until like five minutes ago. Um... The paddles don't work with this wheel in this game. Why? I don't know. But I remapped... Luckily, I thought about this. And I remapped my buttons, my wheel buttons, to be upshift and downshift. So I'll be using buttons for shifting instead of the paddles. Assuming it works. If not, I have the old trusty H pattern. And then we have miscellaneous settings, network settings, Don't can't do anything with that because that's uh, internet. And then you can turn on and off autosave, uh, delete your records, I guess, and then also toggle the opening movie on and off when you re reboot the game. And yeah, that's about it for the options. So 
with that out of the way, let's get started with actually playing Gran Turismo 5. Prologue, and uh, do what the game wants us to do. Go to the dealership, buy yourself a car. So, uh, we I don't know what to buy, honestly. We have 35,000 credits. We have a lot of different brands. Uh, obviously, this works already right off the bat. This game works way differently than GT4 Prologue, where that was a glorified license school. This is actually like a bite-sized version of like the actual game with like racing and shit. Um, let's go to Honda. Honda usually has cheap cars. Let's see, we got the showroom, we have events, which not every manufacturer has event, but there are one-make races in this game. Uh, we have the Integra Type R and the NSX Type R. Those are our only two choices in Honda. Yeah, buy a Ferrari with 35k. Clearly. Um, do we want the Integra? Let's let's look around a little bit. Uh, we might get the uh, Integra. Up time. That's been a thing for a very long time. Um, I know I'm not going to get anything here. Holy shit! It's in HD. Yeah, just the Corvette here. Uh, C6. Uh, does Audi have anything? Uh, not anything I can afford. Even the fucking... The, the cars in this game are fucking expensive, man. <laughs> they are expensive. Let's go to Acura, which is just American Honda. It just the 91 NSX. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna buy the Integra. I could... Look, oh, mobile Twitch, okay, okay. That makes more sense. Let's just buy the Integra and go with that. So, um, kind of like this Vivid Blue Pearl. I think we'll get the Vivid Blue Pearl. For this, I like the info of the car that kind of, or the specs of the car that scroll on the bottom. So, buy this car for 27,300 credits and now I'm in poverty. Yeah. We got the Integra Type R. Go to the garage to view. Alright. And now it's my active car. Cool. So, now when you've purchased your car, participate in the events to earn credits. Events are classified into classes A, B, and C in their order of difficulty. Start by participating in the Class C beginner events. Well, you know what, game? Okay. I will. I'll, I'll do just that. So here's our garage. It's just a menu. It's not like a full... Or a sub-menu. It's not like a full menu here. And only have the Integra, so... Let's go to the events page, and let's get started with the actual uh, gameplay part of the game. So, just like the game said, we have three different classes to choose from, C, B, and A. Uh, we'll start with Class C, because this is the beginner's class, using lower-powered cars, so... Here is our event list. Now, the way this, uh, the, the events and stuff are laid out here is very unique. It, it's definitely set up as if, like, a mission mode or a license mode with numbered and everything in order, but there are, but there are, like, cups and shit. They're just not ordered in really any way. I mean, they are, but they aren't, so... Uh, what I'm going to do is, instead of going one after the other, I'm actually going to take care of each cup at a time. So, our first event is uh, the first race of the Sunday Cup Series for beginner drivers. So, we'll be participating in all the Sunday Cup races to start off. Uh, an all-corners race aimed at beginners. This is where it all starts. So, we're going to be going to High Speed Ring. It was on the bottom of the screen. For two laps against seven opponents. Penalty level zero, which means uh, I can fuck up all I want and not get penalized. Here's uh, more uh, info about the race. All cars are allowed. Uh, no physics restrictions. Tires are set to racing R3 tires, which I believe is the hard uh, compound racing tires. Yeah, it shows the tunnel on the map. That's cute. 
And then we get, shows the prize money for the podium places. So we can get 10,000 from this. And then we can choose our car from the garage. And let's go race. And then we can, here we can change all of our stuff. So manual transmission, active steering off. Physics, we can have standard or professional. I'm going to go professional because I'm hardcore. Uh, stability management, which is auto locked off here. Uh, trash control, off. Driving line, off. And tires are locked to the racing R3 tire compound, so. There we go. I have to say, this kind of, this feels a little empty without the music, but copyright. But here's our loading screen. <laughs> One thing this game definitely has over GT5 proper is the load times, because holy shit. These are some of the fastest PS3 load times I've ever experienced, that's for sure. And then pre-race screen, we change our driving options again. And here's our starting lineup. We're going to be starting fourth in this race. Against a bunch of Mazda Tenzas, an Alpha 147, Citroen C4, Suzuki Swift. So a bunch of hot hatches, really, in my Integra. I like the pre-race screen because it's like a warm-up session with cars actually on the track. With these scenic views. Very good. I mean, it makes sense how GT5 has much longer load times because it's a much more bloated game. Anyways, here's our camera options. The defaults to the bumper cam, which has the superior tack. Oh no! Alright. Well, the buttons for shifting isn't working and the paddles. I'll, I'll just use the H pattern. It's fine. Uh, here's our in-car view, which, uh, first time in the series that we have a proper in-car cockpit view, which is really nice. Uh, we have our roof cam, which basically returns from GT4. Uh, it is, but the paddles and, like, wheel buttons don't work for some reason. I mean, the wheel buttons do work, but for some reason the paddle shifting doesn't work. So, it, it's very strange. And then here's a view I'm going to be using throughout this entire Let's Play is the uh, chase cam. So yeah, unfortunately, my the, the only problem is uh, because of my desk situation, I have my shifter mounted barely within arm's reach, so I have to stretch my right arm out to shift the car. <laughs> it also could be a uh, car-specific thing. Maybe it's like race cars that have paddle shifting, I don't fucking know. Uh, maybe Thunder, I don't know. Because, like, the G27 isn't even listed on, like, the compatible, or, like, listed. I think this game came out before G27 existed, because the latest Logitech wheels, like the Driving Force Pro. Anyways, it seems I chose too strong of a car for our starter car. Because I am dominating. I have left these fools. Yeah, high speed ring. Uh, brilliant high definition. High definition speed ring. And... Just kind of getting my feet wet here, trying to feel the force feedback. I've never actually played this game with a wheel, so... I'm learning as I go. Actually, one cool thing I do like how that this game show is your actual, like, uh, throttle and brake inputs on screen, so you can actually know how much I'm using the throttle and the brake as well as our g-force meter on the bottom left accompanying that and with that our first race of the sunday cup complete i win ah damn the finish music is tied to the uh to the main, like, the main music, uh, thing. Unfortunate. Oh, well. You finished first. Did it. Yay, 10,000 credits. Let's go. Add to my tiny amount of money. <laughs> Very slow. <laughs> well done. You cleared the event. I sure did. Hell yeah. Unfortunately, the fade out was very quick, so we don't get actual, like, results from anybody else. 
box, but oh well. Anyways, I'm gonna save this. Start saving replays for thumbnails. Not two vacuum cleaners. I have a recent pocket one. Hell yeah! And that was our first race, first Sunday Cup race. I'm actually gonna try some here. Um, I'm going to try something for the first time live. Well, how it, I don't know how this is gonna go, but okay. Mount my shifter to the keyboard. Have it not be a massive interference with everything. Maybe, perhaps. All right. Gonna have to sit back a little more from the wheel, but we're gonna try this. Just so I don't have to reach like full arm's length reach for my uh my shifter. So we completed the first Sunday cup race. Oh yeah, I changed the uh I changed uh setting in my uh G Hub setting for my camera. Cause I noticed um, my colors were a little bit too warm, so I adjusted the, uh, whatever that adjustment is. So, I think this is more natural, I don't know. So, we'll, we'll see. But, upon completion of the first race, uh, we can do this first race of Lightweight K-Cup, except I can't, because I don't think I have a car for that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just jump ahead to uh, event C4, because that's where the second race of the Sunday Cup is. So second race of the all corner, or all comers, not all corners, all comers Sunday Cup. Master slipstreaming to win this three lap battle on the Daytona Oval. New track, Daytona. Well, new for uh, GT at least. So, Sport S2 tires for this race versus uh, R3, so Sport tires of racing slicks, but it's an oval race, so it's going to be full throttle. Keeping it pinned to the floor. And, uh, let's go. All coomers. The tone. Okay, I gotta see if I can kind of scoot. Scoot a little bit. Okay, I scooted a little bit. It's, now my pedals are kind of... Uh, I, I kind of have to stretch to reach my pedals. It's fine. Uh, similar opposition as a high-speed ring. We should be okay. I can actually reach my shifter, though. There's that. So here we go. Three laps at the Daytona International Speedway. That was the wrong gear. Thought the game was going to start me in second gear, so I had my shifter in second gear. This ass never stayed shut. What the fuck? Oh, we're, we're getting some we're getting some wheel feedback into turn one. Oh, did stability get turned on? Stability got turned on. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, this does have a sixth gear. Wasn't sure if this, whether or not this was a six speed. Away we go. Fast. Near him. Oh, oh shit, I hit the mini. No. It's fine. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Alright, we have a 1.5 second lead already. Uh-huh. Gotta remember to turn the stability thing off. Next time. Slam on lap one. Yeah, the Integra is a little bit OP for the Sunday Cup, but 
my options were limited, and I didn't feel like searching every manufacturer. This is what I get for not really knowing what the uh, opposition, like, what I was going to be racing against. Or show the other day. Yeah. I'm with so far Reaper. They rip. Like a band goes up. I might... Because this is a very awkward setup I have right now. I might abandon the wheel thing using my wheel. A lot of demos, prologues. Uh, no. It was just the one prologue. It's just there were three different... It got updated uh, to three different versions. But it's the same game. And then there's the uh, HD concept, which came way before the prologue, like when the PS3 launched. Which is a tech demo, then a uh, GT5 preview, really. It's on stage, so it's crazy. Motion really starts, okay. And I'm still with you, Reaper. Foot pin to the floor. Mm. I win. In stunning fashion. Alright, I think I'm going to abandon using the wheel here because this is extremely awkward and I don't like the whole having the shifter mount. Okay. We might, I might, this might be a controller LP. No, it's it's this game go man. This this is GT5 Pro. This is the one that has the stuff. All right. Got 10,000 more credits. Got the win. So if you'll excuse me a moment. Grab my DualShock 3 from down here cuz it's on like the bottom of floor of my uh, new game shelf. Unwind the cable. Got to unplug my wheel. Plug my controller in. Yeah, that was that was too awkward for me. If the paddles worked, I would be fine, but for some reason the paddles were not working on this wheel. Okay, it's it's very much a GT5 Prologue exclusive issue. So here we go. Alright, it's controller time. Let me just make sure that my uh, controls are set to what I wanted them to be. So, button assignments, uh, L2, R2, shift down. Okay, I'm going to change the shifting to the one shoulders. Up. Uh, what the fuck was the rear view? Sure. Alright, let's see, and then... Okay, yeah. So right stick up and down for acceleration and braking. Alright, that's what I want. I actually prefer using the uh the right stick versus the shoulder button shoulder triggers for uh acceleration on the uh, dual shock three. Sebastian Velax challenge. Yeah, the uh th that challenge is extremely difficult. It's one of the most difficult challenges in all of Gran Turismo. The Vettel challenge is Ridiculous. Alright. So we've got two wins under our belt. Let's go win the next race of the Sunday Cup, which is over here at C7. Race three of the All Comer Sunday Cup series, a race on the technically challenging Iger Nordvon course. Do you have what it takes? Considering my Integra is OP as fuck compared to the rest of the field, absolutely. Uh, we're gonna be on the R3 tires again, the racing R3 tire. For this. Same amount of prize money. Turn stability management off, because fuck that shit. <laughs> also, yeah, the Red Bull X2010, like, 
impossible to comprehend. It, it's so stupid fast. It's it takes full fucking brain capacity just to figure out what you're doing. Anyways, uh, I miss some of what you said, Reaper. Something about somebody having bad breath leading up to a breakdown. Alright. So we've done two different, uh, three different setups here in three races. One was the wheel with my normal setup. Two was mounting my, sh my H pattern to my fucking keyboard tray, which was very awkward. And having to reach for my pedals. And now I'm just using a DualShock 3. <laughs> I, I can't be arsed to, uh, fix, fix everything. Unfortunately, my keyboard tray does, uh, doesn't hang low enough, doesn't have enough clearance to move my H pattern any closer to its normal mounting position. Anyways. Oh, I'm being for run off the road. Believe in toothpaste. Anyways, new track by the way, Iger Nordven. I believe this is the track that was the only track that was in the uh, the HD concept. Uh, uh, the hell was it called? What the hell is the freight? God damn it! Right, how hard I had to break for that hairpin. Um, tech demo. Has to demonstrate my faster while it smells bitter. That. Catch another whiff. Yeah, it's a cool, cool mountain course. Honestly, I like the tracks that most of the tracks that GT5 introduced. And this one's cool. Very switchbacky in this first sector. I fucking needed that breakdown to drop because it smells like this. Um, I think this track was in six. I don't know about the uh, the dirt course that a courses that accompanied this track, but or am I stupid? But uh, I believe this track was in six. Capering was cool. I'd like to see that return. That's like hands. Jesus Christ, Reaper. So wait, who is this? Some random dude, like, in the... Just out near you? In the pre-breakdown, like, waiting room? Hey, I won, by the way. Trust me, these races will get much harder. Um, fun fact about this game, uh, it's fucking hard. <laughs> I think the they actually, like, adjusted the difficulty in the final Spec 3 version, but I played through casually the Spec 2 version of the game, and there were literally some races I could not, challenges I could not, like, gold, period. Like, I couldn't do it. Anyways, there's race three of the Sunday Cup complete. Once again, I won by a large enough margin that can't that the game faded out. The results faded out before anyone else finished. But wait, we're not done with the Sunday Cup. Because there is a fourth and final race down here, the final event in C class, C ten. Finally, the last race of the Sunday Cup Series for beginner drivers. The last race is over two laps of the Fuji Circuit Speedway GT course. Can you step up a class? I certainly can. I'm not ready for that, though. So we're doing two laps of Fuji, the new Fuji. We have the 90s Fuji in GT4 Prologue, and then we have the new Fuji here in GT5 Prologue, as well as... Uh... Yeah, of course this new configuration debuting basically like to the world in uh, GT4. I, it was in GT4 before the track actually opened. Grab some tea.
Because because I have my PS3 mounted or uh, sitting on my desk right now, um, I have to have my tea over there on my game shelf because I have no other room on my desk. I mean, I do, but I'm afraid that uh, I'll fuck up and spill it all over my massive supply of electronics. Anyways, breakdown happens flying to the pit. All right, I'm back with your story, Reaper. Man, Fuji. Honestly, I've I've warmed up to this version of Fuji. I actually really enjoy the final sector. It's very difficult, but like, it also satiates my driving style of late apex. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. I have to say these races are way easier, based on the fact that I'm starting mid what like mid pack instead of at the back of the field like with most other Gran Turismo every other Gran Turismo game up to this point that didn't have qualifying. Oh, man. There's a fucking turd that Someone sh it on the ground. Holy fuck, Reaper. This dude shit himself? Oh my god. It's fucking disgusting. Luckily, the layout we're racing in this race does not have this uh, bogus chicane that is like my only really gripe with this track now. That chicane. Oh, going too fast. Oh, I'm escaped into the pit. That is fucking disgusting. Actual disgusting. <laughs> Man, I don't know how people can survive, like, I don't know how people can deal with just not having any sort of personal hygiene in any way, shape, or form. The most heinous thing. Yeah, that's fucking disgusting. have an 18 second lead. The Integra was not a good choice for this. I'm just alas saying it right now. The Integra was a very bad choice for this. Oh, 500. Oh, God. That's even worse. Alright, so pro tip, if you want actual, like, close-ish racing in the Sunday Cup, do not buy the Integra Type R. Actual Cretans, yeah. I, I, I really love how much you can easily tell how different my steering and everything is going from a wheel to a controller. Is the went from smooth sailing to what the fuck am I doing? Well, you can't miss the breakdown. Why? Because people have no self-respect? I win! Man, I'm, I am I kind of wish the uh, the music options also did not affect the finished music. I'm really missing out. <laughs> but we win. Get another 10,000 credits. Hey, I have more money than when I started this game with. Hooray. And cleared the event.
so with that, we have fumbled our way through the beginning of this game. And we have completed all four races of the Sunday Cup. So, uh, cool and good. So, yeah, there's no real tracker of progress in terms of, like, percentage or anything. It's just that. <laughs> so, uh, eh, yeah. not what I want to do. Gotta find a place to, like, pause for a minute so I can split the segments. I guess we'll, the garage, sure. Fuck it. <laughs> 